It's time now for another all new edition of Miami Proud. Over the past year and a half, we featured many of the heroic people working on the front lines of the pandemic. And just last month, a young man stepped into his dream job at North Broward Hospital as a doctor in the same town where he grew up, Pompano Beach. They call him Dr. JD. Now, in his own words, he shares his path to a career in medicine and how he plans to pay it forward. I'm Jean Dominique Ferro. I am a first year emergency medicine resident here in the ER department. My mother was a nurse. Um, she was a nurse all her career. Um, so I would see how she impacted people, how she impacted families, how she impacted the community, how hard she worked, how respected she was for her work. Um, and I wanted to do something similar. <laughs> Everybody around me supported, that's what I wanted to do. So um, in regards to like keeping me out of trouble from certain things, well, I went to high school right up the road at Deerfield Beach High School. Um, and then I went to Florida State University, um, go Nose. Um, and then I went to AUC, um, American University of the Caribbean. We did our first two years in St. Martin. I actually got a chance to go to England, did a semester in England, um, and did all my clinical rotations down in Miami with um, Jackson County. I knew how long it was, gonna, what I needed to do to get into to medical school, and I knew how long of a gap I was going to have, about a year and a half or so. So I was like, you know, let me enlist as a medic um, in the Army because I knew I wanted to be a, a provider. Um, for the Army anyway. I'm still in the, in, the, in the Army National Guard now. It's a long road, right? It's, it's a really long road. I would remember that there's people literally waiting for me to finish, you know? And not waiting me because they want anything from me, but because like I'd be the first doctor that they know. So it was like, it was, it was bigger than me. I was able to help patients during the pandemic. That's something that you, you know, that's, that's a once in a lifetime experience. So it's like, you know, it's, it's a little nerve wracking overwhelming at first, but when you really look at it from the grand scheme of things, um, you know, to be able to help people at this time, you know, to be able to be a provider at this time, it's, a, it's, it's, it's really an experience that it's a once in a lifetime experience. Now, I also want to be able to uh, get into the, make, to different high school, different middle, you know, um, get in touch with kids who are interested in medicine and give them an exposure. If I could expire one, you know, to come back and do what I'm doing, that's, you know, that's, that's a win for me. To be able to serve in this community, um, that's, that's everything for me. You know, to be able to, to have a patient come in and know that I'm from here. To be able to speak the language that they speak, I'm Haitian. You know, my, 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 both my parents are um, Haitian immigrants. To be able to fluently speak to a patient that doesn't speak English very well, um, that, that means everything. I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do, and I get to do it exactly where I wanted to do it. CBS 4's Miami Proud is sponsored by FPL. See how FPL is keeping bills among the lowest in the nation at fpl.com value.